The other question I have right now is, and this is one that we really didn't have, uh, you know, too much of a challenge with in the coaching uh, that that we did together, uh, is is barriers. You know, uh, you fully embraced this. You wanted this. You you wanted to learn social. So that's not the case for everybody, unfortunately. A lot of people need to see proof. They need to see tangible results, return on investment, whatever. Uh, what do you think is the biggest barrier that, you know, people face, you know, stakeholders, uh, you know, people on your team? What do you think that is? Yeah. Well, I don't think it's going to be news to you, Eric, but I think the biggest barrier that we've all heard is I don't have the time. Right. And, and one of the lessons I've learned in life is that when people say that they don't have the time, it's really just another way of saying it's not a priority for me. So I think, you know, you have to sit back and think, why is this not a priority? So for me, with the practitioners that I work in, work with, um, I know firsthand that they spend time on social media sites like Facebook or Instagram. But when it comes to LinkedIn, nobody seems to have the time. And I think one of the reasons why that is, is because they're not using LinkedIn in the way that it's intended, right? They're not seeing the benefits and they're just using it as a tool to broadcast, whether it be third party content or a place to post their resume. And I mean, that's not fun, right? So it's no wonder that they're not really engaging. So if you're doing it wrong, it's not going to be fun. But then you see the people that are doing it right, right? The people that know what their brand is, that are engaging in a meaningful way, that are getting creative uh, with their content and their messaging. Those are the people that start to have results. And so I use it as sort of a um, uh, basically like working out, right? So if you are working out and you are starting to see results, you may drop a few pounds, you may put on a few muscle, a uh, few muscles that happens after time, right? And so I think it's the same with the activity on LinkedIn, right? It's going to take a little bit of time before you see results. But once you start to see them, it's great motivation to keep going. And then it becomes fun and then it becomes fulfilling um, because you're reaching people, you're helping them, whether it's helping to educate them on your area of expertise or helping them to build their network through yours. So that's, that's basically what I think is the main barrier. Yeah, well, that's a uh, great analogy to the uh, the workout, you know, philosophy, you know, um, one analogy that, of course, that I use uh, as well. Um, you know, you have to have a routine and uh, you have to be consistent at it and you have to have, you know, certain kind of expectations and, and uh, you know, have to do the right things in order to, to, to see results.